Meta founder Mark Zuckerberg has said that the U.S. officials pressured Facebook to censor certain content related to COVID-19 during the pandemic. In 2021, senior officials from the Biden administration, including the White House, repeatedly pressured our teams for months to censor certain COVID-19 content, including humor and satire, and expressed a lot of frustration with our teams when we didn't agree, Zuckerberg wrote in a letter to the Republican-led House Judiciary Committee. He added that he regrets some of the decisions taken in relation to the U.S. government's requests. I think we made some choices that, with the benefit of hindsight and new information, we wouldn't make today, he said, without elaborating. Zuckerberg's letter was posted on the committee's Facebook page and on its ex-social media account on Monday. Responding to Zuckerberg's comment, the White House stated that, when confronted with a deadly pandemic, this administration encouraged responsible actions to protect public health and safety. Our position has been clear and consistent, we believe tech companies and other private actors should take into account the effects their actions have on the American people, while making independent choices about the information they present, the statement further reads. It should be noted that in the 2020 U.S. presidential election campaign, President Joe Biden accused Facebook of killing people by allowing disinformation about COVID vaccines to be posted on its platform. All right, well, doctor, I strongly agree uh, that, that we need somewhat of a reset here. You know, as, as someone running a business, um, you know, I, I've, I've said that I believe the best way to improve both public health and economic opportunity in this country is to focus on beating this virus first. And um, I also have to say, I think you, you might be um, it, quite generous in your description of um of the the government's response here um you know i was certainly sympathetic early on when when it was clear that uh, there would be some outbreaks no matter uh, how well we handled this but you know now that we're here in july um i, I just think that it, it was avoidable and, and it's really disappointing um that you know we still don't have adequate testing uh that the credibility of our top scientists like yourself um, and the cdc are being undermined um, and until recently, uh, that parts of the administration were calling into question whether people should even follow basic best practices like wearing masks. A possible Russian drone flyover last week prompted a NATO military base in western Germany to briefly raise its security level, media in the country reported, citing anonymous security sources. The western military bloc said it elevated and then lowered the security level at Geilenkirchen Air Base due to an unspecified potential threat. Germany, a key ally of Ukraine, has been on high alert for possible sabotage and attacks on military facilities in recent months. NATO has used Geilenkirchen since 1980 serving as a base for its AWACS reconnaissance aircraft. German news agency Deutsche Presse Genter, citing German security sources, reported that the security level at the air base was temporarily elevated over intelligence findings indicating potential Russian sabotage using a drone. However, Geilenkirchen spokesperson Christian Brett dismissed the notion of drone flyovers as absurd in a statement. Reuters cited a NATO spokesperson at Geilenkirchen who clarified that the word Russia was never mentioned. We discussed a threat caused by drones, the unnamed NATO spokesperson was quoted as saying. There have been no official statements regarding a specific Russian threat at the base. Moscow has repeatedly denied allegations of sabotage against Western nations supporting Ukraine's defense against Moscow's invasion. Earlier in April, investigators arrested two German-Russian men suspected of spying for Russia and plotting attacks in Germany, including on U.S. military facilities, in an attempt to undermine support for Ukraine. 14 Boeing E-3A airborne warning and control system aircraft are based at the Gelsenkirchen airfield. Last week, NATO raised the security level at the base due to a probable threat and sent its employees home as a precaution. Both at the airfield and at the NATO headquarters in Brussels, they opened the possibility of UAV flights.